everyone, it's Maria and I'm a dancer. I love dancing so much that I don't do it only in dance class, but I just live dance. And I think so many dancers can relate to that, because we just live differently. And in this video, I want to show you guys a bunch of things I do differently than a normal human being, because I'm a dancer. So let's get started. Most people spend the majority of their day just sitting down. And you know, they just sit still. But me, as a dancer, I just can't do it. I can't sit like a normal person. I always have to do something. Because you know, when you're watching YouTube videos, you can also stretch at the same time. Or when you're on your phone, you can work on your split. And you can do some conditioning. The only thing that limits you is your imagination and mine is kind of crazy. Same thing applies to watching TV. I just can't sit still. I have to either stretch or practice tricks. One time I was doing kicks and I almost broke the TV. And then I stretch and then I stretch even more. And also I have to do a lot of handstands which always drives crazy everyone who's around. When it comes to driving my family crazy, imagine how frustrated my parents were for the whole 12 years I was at school when they saw me doing homework on the floor in a straddle stretching. They just couldn't understand, but for me that was the best and most comfortable position. The dancing mode is still on even in the kitchen. Because you know, the counters are just great for stretching your legs and the floor is so perfectly slippery for turns. This is how I chop onions and this is how I look for trash bags. When I move around the house, I also do it in a very denser way. clothing and let's start with socks. Normal people put them on their whole feet. That's what you're supposed to do. But dancers don't. We often put our socks on only halfway so that we get the perfect combination of slippery toes and not slippery heels. But it's gonna get even weirder. Let's talk practice clothes. Normal people would wear a t-shirt or a sports bra and some kind of comfy pants, but dancers, no way! Long socks put on top of your leggings are totally normal in dance class. It can even be two different socks. And then it's nice to have a loose jacket. It doesn't have to match anything, it just has to be comfy, you know. And that's a very common dance outfit. Another mundane thing, brushing your teeth. I like to use this time for some simple exercises like turns or stretches and even more stretches. And then some simple ballet jumps for better technique. Let's stay in the bathroom for another second and talk shaving your legs. Who would guess that having a split can be so useful in life? And now it's time to go to bed. Normal people just lay down like normal people, but not me. Because every day before I go to bed, I have to do some exercises. I usually do some push-ups, a plank, various types of crunches, and then I like to stretch while I'm reading. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I haven't been uploading on this channel for forever and I probably won't upload much but still hit that subscribe button because if there's gonna be so many subscribers if, la, 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 if there's gonna be so many subscribers I might the thing is my main YouTube channel is in Polish and making the same videos in two languages is kind of boring for me and I don't like to do boring things so I just decided I'm gonna stick with my Polish channel but for some reason I just felt inspired to do this video in English as well so I hope you guys liked it and make sure if you did 
Pibbly, thumbs up so that I know that you liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below what's the weirdest thing you do as a dancer. Maybe you relate to some things that I showed or maybe you don't do any of them and I'm the only weird one. I don't know, maybe. Let me know and see you guys next time. Bye!